Army Air Force Captain O.W. Henderson kept his mouth shut for a long time. He didn't go public until he learned that some of the others had broken their silence. He was retired by then and living in California. It had been rumored for years that one of the pilots on one of the flights out of Roswell had actually seen the bodies. But the rumor did not become a reality until 1982, when Pappy Henderson finally spoke out. He told his wife, I've been dying to tell you for years. We were in the grocery store in San Diego, where we had lived for many years, and uh, we were at the checkout stand, and here was a, a paper, The Globe, I believe it was. Uh, here was all of the, the story about it. In fact, I still have the papers here. And uh, he said, he took a, a look and he said, I've been wanting to tell you about this for years. I guess if they're putting in the papers now, it's no longer a top secret. And he said, he bought the papers and we went to the car and he said, read those. And I read the article and he said, it's a true story. He said, not only did I know about it, but I'm the pilot that took the crashed saucer to Dayton, Ohio. I was astonished, and uh, I, if it hadn't been uh, Pappy telling me, I probably wouldn't have believed it. But he was so, he was very confident, and he was always very truthful and straightforward. So I believed him, but if, you know, in those days, if you said you'd seen a spacecraft or a flying saucer, you were put in the uh, annals of a, a nut. <laughs> so I, uh, we didn't say much about this. But years before, when people would ask him what he thought about uh, flying saucers, his answer was, there's something to it. We may never identify and confirm all the witnesses, but let's review the ones we've heard about so far. These are people who claim they saw bodies of humanoid creatures killed in the Roswell crash. We have an army pilot, a civil engineer, an archaeologist, and a sergeant who peeked under a tarp. Two of our purported witnesses allegedly made deathbed statements. The woman dying of cancer told her story to a nurse at a hospital in Florida. And for the last four days of his life, Sergeant Melvin Brown talked about the crash, insisting the bodies were real. And the weather balloon story was a lie. What on the earth could he have done that he, he would have been so worried about on his deathbed because he was worried about it. I mean, he was mentioning this place in his sleep and sort of shaking his head and, and nodding and arguing in his sleep about it and, and mentioning it. He, he was worried about it. Whatever it was, he was really worried. And this is what makes me angry. It, ma it makes me rather bitter to think that, all right, I don't know, UFOs, alien bodies. I, I don't know what, what the truth is. All I know is that if my dad said so, then that's it. He wouldn't have lied.